Hello, Corey O'Connor here from Do Control today to talk about leveraging Do Control for cloud data loss prevention, or DLP. If you're not familiar with Do Control, we are a data access security vendor specifically focused on securing SaaS application data and files. So modern businesses that are leveraging the cloud can drive their business forward in a secure way. Do Control for Cloud DLP provides next generation data loss prevention throughout all the business critical applications that organizations are leveraging, such as Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive and SharePoint, Slack, Box, Dropbox, so on and so forth. The Do Control solution will scan and monitor all the SaaS application data activity. We're going to perform end user behavioral analytics to mitigate the risk of insider threats and automatically initiate secure workflows that prevent the loss, leakage, or misuse of sensitive company data. In this video, I want to highlight Do Control's security workflows, which allows for the creation of dynamic DLP policies that can be enforced consistently throughout all the different applications that we mentioned before. So once we log into Do Control, here you can see uh, our no code, low code canvas. And on the left hand side are all the different actions, the actionable steps you can take uh, to define your policy. Now you can either start from scratch or we've created a, a series of predefined templates that you can leverage. Uh, they're fully customizable. They can be adjusted to meet whatever your DLP security program requirements might be. Uh, but in this example, we've got a partially established policy and we're gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of the pieces. So in this example, we're trying to prevent PII from being shared in an external channel. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and give this an action name, which is essentially a description for this policy. The next step is to scan the actual file. So within DLP, P scanning for PII is, is obviously critically important. And here what we want to do uh, is, let's say credit card data, or, or uh, sorry, uh, credit card labels uh, are what we're, we're trying to scan for. So we would go through this, this list, identify whatever the, the labels are, uh, in this example, credit card, but whatever they might be. And here you can create conditional steps, right? So let's say that we scan the file and it does contain credit card PII. The next logical step is to delete the file. And that's what we're going to do here. So remove the file from the channel. And we're going to go ahead and add that step in. And then let's say that the action doesn't present material risk we scan it there's no credit card data it's a, it's a uh, a safe uh, workflow so same thing here what we're going to do here is allow the share and then the execution and that's it this is obviously a very simple policy that we've created uh, you can you can create extremely complex policies, robust policies that have conditional looping, that have different notification steps. You can notify the individual actor and check in with them to see if, they, if the receiving uh, end user still requires access to a specific file. You can notify security teams or other uh, you know, personas, whether it's the line of business managers for higher risk events and activities. You can drop in uh, steps that will wait before you enforce specific actions. All of these different actionable steps can be dragged and dropped right into the canvas. Again, fully customizable. You can get extremely granular in creating these policies. And and that's it. In just a few simple clicks, you can create uh, a policy that can be enforced throughout all the different applications that you're using. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in learning more about Do Control, please check us out at docontrol.io. Thanks.